Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to my 2018 gaming streaming setup tour. Now, you all typically know me more for competitive gaming, but I'm also really interested in tech reviews, gear reviews, so you may see some more videos like this in the near future. Now, this video also serves as a big thank you to those of you who have helped me afford and create this stream setup through your support on Twitch and on YouTube, uh, but more on that later. Now, I've been working on this video for weeks, and I'm thrilled to finally share it with you. You typically don't see a video of this quality from someone with so few subs. So, if you're stumbling across this video, maybe consider dropping a sub if you like it, or comment down below and let me know how I can improve. In the meantime, let's get started. We're going to start off this tour on the desk, and what better thing to start with than the bright, beautiful Corsair K70 Lux RGB keyboard. No, this isn't sponsored by Corsair, but I happen to have a lot of their products because they're built well, they're beautiful, and most importantly, their customer service is fantastic. What I really like about the Corsair K70 is the customization. You'll see here is a profile I actually built myself, and you know I've got it reactive to where the green flows across. It's really going with this whole retro vibe I've got right now on my setup. You can customize all these through the Corsair Utility Engine, where people have dedicated profiles from anything from specific games to flags. It's all a lot of fun. I've got the keyboard sitting on top of the Corsair MM300 Anti-Fray Cloth Gaming Mouse Pad. It's held up great. It cleans great. Highly recommend it. Now for mice, I've got two. I've got the G502 Proteus Spectrum from Logitech. That's my gaming mouse. Absolutely love it. And then for my streaming mouse, I've got the Corsair Glaive RGB. It used to be my gaming mouse, but it's a little heavy and... It it honestly gets pretty hot with that LED. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I actually shot this footage a couple months ago. That's how long I've been working on this video. And since, I've switched to the best mouse on the market. The Final Mouse Ultralight Phantom. The unique hexagon cutouts not only make the mouse more lightweight, but it makes it extremely breathable. Not to mention it comes with a paracord pre-installed, so it's got that wireless feel, but it's got the reliability of a wired mouse. Moving on to stream stuff, I have the Elgato Stream Deck. At first, I thought this was kind of gimmicky, but I got it for a gift, and honestly, it's been a lifesaver since. Having individual customizable screens for changing scenes, muting mics, makes everything hassle-free when you're trying to multitask. Just above that, I've got my Amazon Echo Dot. I use that to control a lot of the lighting in my room, check the weather, etc. I've got an old Bose SoundLink Mini 2 for my speakers, but it works great. And then honestly, one of the best purchases I've ever made has been this fancy small USB desk fan. It's got a low setting on it so it doesn't pick up on your mic, and it blows cool air into your hand so during those intense battle royales or long games of Overwatch, you no longer have to take your hand off the mouse to dry it off on your pants or a towel or whatever. Now, surprisingly enough, I shot this entire video on my Samsung S9 Plus. I don't have money to blow on a big camera, but, you know, whenever I'm not using it for recording videos, I plot my Samsung down on this Samsung fast wireless charger. I'm a huge cable management nerd, so I have everything on top of my desk being routed underneath to this Anchor 6 port USB hub. For the microphone, I've got it attached to a newer, it's about $20 microphone stand, and it does a fantastic job. Clips onto the edge, it's great for only $20. I've got a shock mount that'll prevent any sort of, you know, vibrations if you're slamming your table like XQC. And I've got it all attached to a USB microphone that actually sounds amazing, the AT2020 Plus USB. For headphones, I'm using my Bose QuietComfort 25. My parents got these for me as a gift when I was going through college to drown out the noise of other people so I could focus. And frankly, they're perfect for gaming. Bose has been fantastic with their customer service, and I couldn't recommend them more. For the monitor setup, I have one central, incredible Acer Predator monitor. It's 1440p, 144Hz, IPS monitor, stunning, but also expensive. Surrounding them is the V276HL. It's actually got the same frame, which allow the bezels to line up perfectly. There's almost no gap in between the screens, though these monitors are only 1080p. That being said, I save a lot of money by not buying three Acer Predators, and it gives me that multitasking capability that I need when I'm gaming and streaming. For the webcam, I've got the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam. Everyone and their grandma has it if they're streaming, so you can look up a review on that. The unique thing that I have to my setup is the C930E HD Pro webcam, which gives a wide angle view attached to this 25 inch flexi arm mount. The combination of these two pieces allows for some pretty incredible shots whenever I'm streaming, both for keyboard and controller. Oh my God. That was a jumping shot, nice that was sweet. Shit. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Isaac, you're insane. Jeez. Isaac, what? you're insane. All right. Fine. For my LED strips, I've got the Wintop LED strips. They're pretty budget. You can find them on Amazon. They don't have any sort of special Bluetooth features. You've got to use a you know individual IR remote to control them. But the colors are great, and frankly, it's going to be about half, if not a third, of the price of the name brand alternative. As for these dynamic wallpapers that I'm using, I'm getting them all through a service called Wallpaper Engine. It's available on the Steam store for $3.99, and there are so many options for customization. Not only can you optimize it based off of your own PC's performance, but you have all these creators creating wallpapers for different games, beautiful landscapes, a lot of optical illusions, motivational quotes, and, well, for everyone else, you've got your women, you've got your anime, and most importantly, you have your memes. All right, so that wraps up what's on the desk. Let's move on to what actually powers these monitors. So like I said earlier, I've got a two PC setup. On the left is my streaming, on the right is my gaming, and I've tried to match both performance and price efficiency. So on the right, starting with the gaming PC, my whole purpose behind this build was to match the performance of my monitor, right? So I've got a monitor that can do 1440p, 144 hertz, and it's got some G-Sync in there to help if I can't reach that with my, you know, gaming rig. So, here's what I've got in it. I've got an i5-8600K and a GTX 1080. You know, I bought both of these on sale. If I were to buy this build now, it would probably be just over $1,000. But it does everything I need it to do. 1080p gaming, I get full 144 hertz, no questions asked. If I'm doing 1440p gaming, uh, the G-Sync will kind of narrowly get me over it. But it's a lot cheaper than trying to go out and buy a new 2080 Ti. I've got an additional 16 gigs of RAM and then a liquid cooler if I want to eventually overclock it, but for right now, it's killing it. Switching over to the left side to my streaming PC, here my priority was high core count, high thread count, because we need to take all this video that I'm creating and streaming it live up to Twitch. So for this, if I'm talking high cores, high threads for also a good price, we're going to switch teams from the blue team of Intel and head to red team with my Ryzen. So I've got a Ryzen 5 1600X. If I was to do it again, I would probably upgrade to a Ryzen 7, but it's doing fine for me now. And I've got a GTX 1050 Ti, which could make this a light gaming build. But most importantly, I've got the Game Capture HD60 Pro from Elgato. Plugged directly into the PCIe port, it has no input delay whenever I'm playing on my PS4, and it allows for 1080p 60fps up to Twitch. Currently, with all this gear, I stream at 900p, 60 FPS with a medium encoder preset. For those of you familiar with PCs, for a gaming PC, you need high single core performance. And for the streaming PC, you're going to need high core and thread count to break down all the video. So it's kind of been a perfect match for both price and performance. Moving on from the PCs, we're going to take a little trip around the room and see what makes this place feel like home. This little collection sits behind me every time I stream, and it just kind of reminds me of some of the favorite parts of my stream and my you know, history as a gamer. So I've got, you know, Overwatch characters, some Fortnite jellies, and then even some gear from when I played in the Ninja Vegas Fortnite tournament. Underneath my desk, I have a gun vault safe bolted to the floor. I use it for both personal protection and personal documents. Now, one thing you're going to need if you're going to have a two PC setup is some sort of air conditioning. I've got this portable Black & Decker unit that helps keep the room cool, and it's pretty quiet. Off in the corner, I've got my tennis bag from when I played tennis in college. I've got a Wayfair.com lamp. I actually got the idea from Philly D. I've got a Philips Hue light bulb in there to change the mood. And then the poster of the best game of all time, The Last of Us. Now over here, I've got a mood lighting that not only helps brighten up the room, but it kind of gives this ambient movie feel. Only bad thing about it is it's not battery powered and you have to hardwire it in. So I kind of had to jerry rig that myself. Just be wary of that if you plan on purchasing this light. I've got the light sitting above a Roland FP30 digital piano. I played saxophone all through college and sold it to purchase this and I've made some progress.
<laughs> yeah, I haven't made that much progress yet. <laughs> uh, one of the favorite things I have in my room is the Secret Lab Titan. Now, normally this is a chair for bigger people. I'm about six foot, 180 pounds, and it's extremely comfortable. I've had it for over a year, barely shows any sign of wear. And if you're not a big leather person, they just came out with a cloth Titan. And not to forget the full tilt mechanism that lets you go all the way back. But... To help with the lighting of this video and also the lighting on my streams, I've used these cheap LED lights from Newer. All right, guys, that uh, that wraps it up. You know, this, this video has been a long time in the making, and frankly, the progression of this setup has been a long time in the making. This didn't happen overnight. You can see some of the before and after pictures of the changes I've made here. And when I graduated college in 2016, and I've been scrimping and saving ever since. And thanks to some generosity from people on stream and also the support of you all pushing my, my content on YouTube, I've been able to, you know, create my dream stream gaming setup. It's, a, it's an absolute honor. And really, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. You know, thank you to everyone who's been supportive. And, you know, you know who you are if you've been especially supportive with monetary donations. And also thank you to you. If you're new to this channel and you're watching this video, I appreciate you clicking on the link of someone who has, you know, so few subscribers, so few views. I like to, I like to think we do good work here. So if you like what you've seen, if you see promise in this channel, make sure to drop a subscription, drop a like. Let me know in the comments how I can improve if you want to see something better next time. And of course, I've got my Twitch channel. Feel free to drop by at any time. I've got the link in the description. You know, if you have any questions about this specific setup or you just want to hang out and see some cool gameplay, get to know me better, feel free to drop by. I've also got my socials for Twitter and Discord. Really would encourage you guys to join those. They're really active. We've got a really tight-knit, fun community. And finally, the big news is I'm moving into a new house in January. So the stream room is going to be totally revamped. I've got a lot of great ideas for the years to come. And once again, everyone, thank you so much. It's been such a freaking great year. Um, I can't wait to see what this next year has for us. Really going to be pushing hard these next couple of months with additional content. So keep an eye out for it. Tell your friends. And I will uh, see you all in the next one. Peace.